people here. So just sitting back nice and comfortably. If you're sitting in the lounge, grab a cushion if you need to to put it under your bum, between your bum and your, your heels. And just let your hands go soft. It's a really great way to sit if you haven't got sore knees. But if you have got sore knees, please, please put yourself in a different position that feels better for you. Let the eyes just shut down. And in fact, let's turn palms up tonight. Hands just soft. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Try that again, I want to hear you all the way here in Percy Road. Big breath in. And out. Lovely, keep breathing. So if you missed the start of the chat, we are on Moksha playlist 15 tonight through Spotify. If you don't, have any music, don't worry at all about it. You'll have the song of your breath to keep you company. Closing the mouth down and just letting the breath come nice and steadily. Feeling the day just slipping away on the exhale, letting your shoulders relax, letting your neck soften. And in fact, let's just start to release the neck a little. So we're going to start by just turning to the right. And coming back to the middle and going over to the left. Coming back again. One more time to each side. You're not putting too much judgment on that stiff neck or feeling like it's not going well when you try and turn your head. Just let that work itself out in its own time. Beautiful, come back to centre. We're going to nod our head, so lifting it up. And down. Down. Coming up. And down. And we're going to pause on this third one going up. So coming all the way through, lifting the chin, dropping the mouth open. Oh, I probably should have been doing this all day. Letting the tongue be heavy in the mouth. And yes, you do feel like a bit of a dick if you're not used to doing this. But it's so good for us. Good. and then softly closing the mouth, bringing the chin down. I'm having trouble with my bow tonight. <laughs> and taking the hands to a different shape if that feels better through your neck. Good, coming back to neutral. Let's roll the shoulders out. Take them back. Anybody else do the Les Mills Combat this morning? <laughs> Kids were very disparaging of my technique and style. I thought I looked quite sharp in the reflection of the TV. <laughs> Good, let's lengthen an arm across the front. Take a nice stretch through the front of the arm, the top of the arm, shoulder. And change that shape to above your head. You can hold your elbow, which is going to be my choice tonight. If you like the bind, you want to take your hand under and reach for your fingertips, you can. I'm just going to give these triceps a little bit of a nudge with the elbow, just pushing a slight amount of pressure down on the elbow. Feels really nice. It actually feels terrible, but I know it'll feel <laughs> nice later. <laughs> That's so tight at the moment. See, even us yogis, we get tight. 
Good. And open up, taking the other arm. Just letting that stretch come through. You decide how close you're pulling in this elbow to you. If you've got a sore shoulder at the moment, very, very careful with this sort of movement. Good, and then we'll take it up. Again, if you like the, the, the knot at the back with the fingers touching, or just use the elbow at the top. A bit of breath is always helpful, and try not to crunch your neck. Like I'm trying to make space between my arms for my head to be upright. Good. Just releasing the arms down. Let's give the toes a stretch. So I heard this described actually as broken toe stretch. You stay where you are. I'm just going to show you side on. So you're just going to tuck back under the toes, sitting on the toes. Take a moment here. Some of you are going to find this super comfy. Others are in company of me, not really enjoying it too much, but it is really good. Really good stretch for the feet. Really good if you're a runner to um, find that movement both ways. Ooh, makes me go all hot. I'm just going to turn back to face you. Makes me go all hot and a little bit sicky. One of those yoga poses that's got to be good for me if it's doing that, eh? <laughs> that's what I would say to you if you were in front of me right now. That'll do. Let's take those feet out from under. Ooh, just sit down a moment if you decided that that all went straight up to your shoulders and your jaw. Shake that off. And then coming onto your hands and knees, we're going to start nice and easy with a little bit of cat and cow. And let's, let's mix it up differently today. So we're going to go into the cow first with the inhale. And then the cat with the exhale. Now feel into your back. So my back does feel quite tight through my lower back, probably from that class I did this morning. So I'm not pushing too hard. First few breaths. I'm just taking my time and letting my body work it out for itself what it needs. This is a pose that I tend to put in pretty much all the flow classes that I teach. Now, if you're brand new and you're wondering what a flow class is, a flow class is where you move through a sequence with breath attached, and it's usually got a sun salutation in it. Um, pose is called Chaturanga, Down Dog. These will all sound familiar if you keep on with your practice. Good, let's do a couple more of these cats and cows. Lovely. And then we're going to come down onto the elbows and give these legs a little stretch. So front leg first. Feel that length all the way through to the heel. And we don't need to stay too long. I've got a few down dogs tonight. That'll sort this out. So this is really just a warm up for that. Any of my blokes, my Tuesday night blokes that are online, this class is very similar to what you guys would normally be doing. With just a couple of little extra frills in there for you. Beautiful. Bring the knee back now. Push up onto the hands. Let's warm the wrists up a moment. Just give them a few rolls, a few flicks. Shake it off. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I felt like that today with my kids. Like they were running around screaming all day. So let's put the hands down, walk the knees back so that they're under the hips and then we're going to come into down dog. Lifting your hips high, take a little pedal out here. So for those of you who are quite new to the practice, I'm going to be putting up a series of tutorials on each of these key positions. So first one that went up was down dog. You can always play that separately to get a little bit more coaching around this. Beautiful. Let's lift the heels. And then before you come out to your, you're pushing your heels down, I want you to roll into high plank and just check your alignment. So if you've come into your high plank like this, you need to separate your hands 
and your feet further apart from each other, okay? So your high plank, really strong, don't collapse. If it looks like this, put your knees down, but then lift the hips back up, and it's really, really crucial you push the hands into the floor and make these upper arms and these shoulders work well for you. Good, let's go back to down dog. Wonderful, lift the heels, bend the knees, and we're coming for our slow walk through, bringing the heat, the heat, the hands and the feet together, shake those shoulders off. So for this practice tonight, we are gonna need our arms a little bit. For now, I encourage you to just let them rest. Make sure your feet are spread, and don't let your knees knock in together. So often we have our knees knocking in, which would look like this. Keep them strong and straight, in line with your ankles, in line with your hips. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose, and a big sigh out your mouth. Good, one more, just like that. And then you're gonna slowly start to roll yourself up. Peel yourself up to standing. Take your time to come up and just roll the shoulders down your back, tuck your tailbone under, feel yourself coming into your full height here. So belly tucked in, top tucked in if you like. I always wear my pants up around my ears when I teach online, but it's better safe than sorry, I say. <laughs> Hands come to the heart centre, take a slow breath in. And a slow breath out. And then an inhale, breathe up. We're gonna do just a couple of half flows. So fold down, let the breath follow the hands. Halfway lift, inhale. And then bend the knees, fold back down again. Breathe into your eyes. Hands to the heart. Keep going, another one just like that. Let the breath fold you down. Halfway lift, long through the spine, straighten the legs. Fold again. Breathe in to rise. Hands to the heart. Good. Let's add on this time. Following right through for Sun A. So this is a nice easy sequence that all of us will get to know very very well so we're stepping back into high plank and then you're going to hold this high plank just for a couple of breaths hold it here if you need to on your knees like i showed you just before but make sure you're still pushing the floor away okay take a deep breath in and then keeping the elbows tucked in nice and tight lower all the way down to the floor chin and chest a little cobra Squeeze the shoulders, just lift the heart a teeny bit. And then down dog, big breath out. Hips up nice and high. Stay there just for a couple of breaths. Just stay and breathe. I'm just going to get my music working again for some reason. There we go. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. Let's bring the front leg up nice and high, three-legged dog. So you decide how's this feeling for you. If it's feeling lovely and you want to go to Scorpion, you can bend the knee and send the foot over. Beautiful. Deep breath in, come back to three-legged dog. And then drawing the knee into the chest, look forward, take a step up. Bring that back leg through as well. Halfway lift, fold, up we come. Hands to the heart. Good, let's go again. Down you flow. Halfway lift, high plank to low, Chaturanga Dandasana, on your knees or on your toes, whatever works well. Now at the bottom here, a very gentle lift into cobra, keep the elbows soft. Down dog. Mm. 
Wonderful. The back leg's turn to come up. Three-legged dog. Again, if you're comfortable here, stay here. You might not be comfortable at all, and you can take a child's pose if that's the case. If you want to come up into Scorpion, big lift of the knee, and then send the foot over. Really power up and open that hip. Good. Inhale, straighten the leg up, level the hips. Knee comes through. Big step up. See if you can get there. Back foot comes as well. Halfway lift. Fold. Upward lift. Hands to the heart. Continuing now with that same movement, that same set of pattern of movement. Maybe a little jump back, maybe a step back, whatever works. Maybe there's an up dog waiting at the bottom of your lowering down. Good, down dog. So we're going to add on this time, but let's bring the front leg up and find scorpion again. Good, hold. If you're in your three-legged dog, do what you can, okay? Just go where you can. From here, come back to three-legged dog, and we're going to come through into our high plank. Now, you guys who don't normally do this sort of carry on, pop your back knee down now, okay? Then we're going to bring front knee to front elbow, back up three-legged dog. Come through again, high plank, and cross under the body to the back knee. Back arm, that's it. Knee to nose. Good, up it goes. Land it back down. Whew. Back legs turn, either that three-legged dog or the scorpion. Notice I'm rolling my foot because this is my gammy ankle. I like to give it a bit of movement. Coming back to that three-legged dog and then rolling into your high plate. Make sure you stack your shoulders over your wrist. Knee to elbow on the same side. Pull your belly up. Three-legged dog. Come through again. Cross the body. Good. Really good core conditioning here. Great strength in the arms. Knee to nose. Back up. Foot goes down. Let's take a break. Child's pose. So rest those hands, rest the head. Take the breath and let it go where it needs to go for you. That was quite challenging for you. Good, it was meant to be. We're gonna keep adding, but we're not gonna put so much in the arms for a moment, okay? So just let the arms rest. While you stay in child's pose, I'll chat to you. I've worked out that if we're going to be at home eating baking all day, which is what a lot of us are doing at the moment, we've got to get a bit of a sweat up at some point. This is why I put this into our sequence tonight. Well done. So let's take one more set of breath. And then we're going to come back up into down dog. If your wrists are really tired, just sit back on your heels. Give your wrists a break. You don't have to keep loading them up, especially if you're quite new to the practice. From here, this back leg's going to lift up again. You're thinking, oh my God, no, it's not. We're not doing that again. We're going to bring the knee through. So really get the knee to come right in. Bring your weight forward. And then back foot comes to rest beside its same hand. We're going to plant the back heel down. We're coming up into warrior one. Done a few warrior ones in the past week. Don't normally do warrior ones, to be honest. Must be something in the water. But anyway, arms reach up. Square the hips forward, and then on your inhale, reach a little higher. On your exhale, warrior two. Lovely, breathe in, breathe out. Well done. Stay in your warrior two. Big, long breath in, spread your arms, really let the arms take the collarbones with them. And then we're going to sun warrior. So we're going to flip this top arm up and over. Slide the back arm down. Good. Big breath in. And then down we go for a flow. So both hands to the floor. Lift your back heel and then step that foot into place. 
lowering down, full cobra, back to your down dog. Let's take a couple of breaths here. Really letting that breath soak up all of it. Everything that is feeling challenging, everything that is feeling really hard to manage right now. I'll just let the breath come. Oh, I'm having technical difficulties here, but it's all right. Good. This time your front leg coming up, and we're taking warrior one to the front. Breathe in to rise. Breathe out to sink down. Let the shoulders drop. Each breath in, a little bit more height through the fingertips. Pull the front ribs in. And then we'll go to warrior two. So you did probably see my front foot shuffle over a little, just to get the legs lined up. Arms spread again. Really feel like there's a line of energy being pulling through your front fingers and your back fingers separating you. Good, let's reverse up, inhale. And down you go. So yes, we have got a lot of these planks in the practice tonight. But I'm going to cut you some slack and pop you back into child's pose again. Let yourself relax. Beautiful, you're doing so well, so well. So there's a reason I'm giving you a little rest here. And that's because we're going to come back up into down dog. And then we're going to come into plank again. Oh my gosh, whose idea was it to put all the planks in the program? We are going to go side plank to the camera, okay? So you're going to turn towards me. You're going to stack your arms. So you've got your shoulder, elbow, wrist, all in a nice straight line. Now it's not like this. This is not right. This is going to hurt. You're going to come up now. I'll pop my back knee down for you guys that are quite new or don't feel like a full side plank. If you want to go full, you could stack the feet. Make sure you push the floor away and lift the hips. Good, how's that feeling? Big breath in, come back, high plank. Reset, we're gonna do the other side. So watching the change, you can pop your knee down, make sure your shoulder is lined up and then reach up. If you want to stack it up, lift through the hips, wrap the waist up, and almost like you're trying to pull yourself up through your top hand. Good, big breath in, back to the top, go for a flow. <laughs> nice work, really good. Take your rest, take your rest. I don't know if it's just me, but my arms feel really tired tonight. So I'm really having to use the rest of my body and not just my arms. Using my waist, using my legs, my core, and my very good mental attitude, I have to say, when it comes to planks. Beautiful. We're going to come through one more time. Now, I've got options for you guys. Some of you have been practicing a long time. I'm going to throw a wild thing in. I'm actually going to come forward off my mat so that I do not throw myself through the back wall. So, same for you. If you need to make some room around you in the lounge or the bedroom, wherever you're practicing, make sure you've got the room. Come into down dog. Then we're going to roll into that high plank. Option here to stay and side plank, okay? This is your option. I'll go to the full side plank. Top leg comes up, step back behind and straighten the front leg. How's that feel? Lovely. Long arm out through the top. Big breath in. And with control, spin the feet first, lift the hips over. What we do on one side, we must do on the other. So. Side plank first, knee down if you like, lift up, step back, wild plank. You make my heart sing. Good, big breath in. Excellent, when you're ready to come back over, 
Lift the feet, spin the hips down. Take your knees, sit back on your heels. How are you feeling? Shake it off, shake it off. Sometimes the wrists really get nailed, don't they? So just make a few little movements. I quite like to join my fingers together. Give the wrists a little roll both ways. Excellent work. In fact, press the hands down both ways. You're doing so well. Good strong practice tonight. Hopefully, you won't put hairs on your chest. Unless you're a man and you want hairs on your chest. Or a very interesting lady. Good, turn the hands the other way. It's a little bit of pressure on the top of the wrist, not too much. Yeah, load them up quite considerably. And we don't want to overdo it. Good work. So let's have a shake off. And then we're going to come up onto our knees. We're going to take a little step forward. So right foot forward. Widen the stance if your wrists are tired. In fact, why don't we all stay up tonight because I think our wrists will be tired. Just a nice rest on here. You're not at the pub, at the bar Lena. Not that lots of you would know what that is, I'm sure. But keep your body up nice and long. My jolly, listen, it's all a... It's all a uh, a learning curve, isn't it? Getting things to work how you want them to work. Excuse my very professional setup here. <laughs> and in fact, while we're here, let's take a little side bend. So opposite arm to that front knee, up and over. Good, how's that feeling? Nice. Excellent, breathe in to bring up. We're going to straighten our front leg and give these toes a little bend towards our face. If you'd like to go a bit deeper, I should put a little warning on this, don't wreck yourself. But if you feel like you've got the splits in your practice, go a little bit further forward with that front leg. If you're waiting for me just to bust out the full splits, you'll be waiting a very long time. <laughs> Used to be able to. I would be a little nervous right now of going too deep. Good. Slide that leg back in. We're actually going to lean forward. Now, if you've got a sore knee, I want you to roll whatever you're on. Roll it up. I haven't got a sore knee. I'm just demonstrating. And then we're going to reach back and take the foot. Little quad stretch here. Make sure that your knee is not taking the pain here. Okay, no pain in the knee. Definitely going to feel this up the top of the thigh on that long back leg. It's quite warm up here tonight. I wonder where you guys are all signing in from. I know that mum might be watching and Danny. It's probably a bit cold down here now, mum, isn't it? I say it like she can talk back to me. <laughs> we could be telepathically communicating. I am missing the face-to-face -face stuff, I have to say. I'm missing, I'm missing having people in my space doing this together. Not quite as much fun by myself, but I'm so glad that you're here with me. Have I distracted you enough? Good. Let's release that foot gently. Oh. And then lift the back knee, step that front foot back. Have a little pedal out. Good, and then the other leg to come forward. So again, keep me out of the wrists tonight. I'm just making up as I go, really. I have got a plan, but sometimes it just doesn't feel like what we need. Lovely little side bend here. Now, if you feel like you're gonna fall over, widen that stance, yeah? Give yourself a bit of room. Deep breaths. I can actually feel the day leaving me. I can feel it leaving my body in the form of tension leaving. And I can actually feel my mind letting it go as well. That was done. Oh well. Tomorrow's a new day. Lovely. 
coming into the hamstrings. A little slide into the hamstrings. So you don't have to go as far forward then as I just did. You can stay up really high. And if you in fact can't even get your hands to the ground, hands to your waist, hips, will do just as well. Are you enjoying yourself? I hope so. It's very hard to motivate ourselves at home sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. But once we set that intention, and what I have to do with myself at the moment is I say, right, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to see it through to the end, and then I don't let myself quit and walk to the fridge, which is what I usually want to do. I just say, this is it. Good. If you want to go to the splits, actually not too bad to try. Slide that leg back in. Again, prop up that back knee if you need to. Get a little bit of padding. And then with your balance and check, take that foot. Ooh, I'll show you side on. <laughs> no pressure. Good, so I'm just wiggling my front foot forward a little bit so I've got somewhere to lean into. Excellent. If it's too much pressure on the back knee, don't stay there. Good O. Gently, gently, gently drop that back foot. Oh, that is quite gnarly on the back knee coming out, isn't it? So let's come into seated. Straighten the legs out in front of you. I love this bit of a class when I think, oh, goody, all the hard stuff's nearly done. So we're going to do a little forward fold here. I want you to get your buttocks out from underneath you. I always feel like Forrest Gump when I'm like that. Arms come up. And then reach forward. Wiggle the shoulders, let the neck settle. If your back is sore, don't be doing this too intensely. Maybe even legs apart, knees very soft. Maybe just resting, yeah, not pulling yourself in. If you've got hold of your feet, this is what I see all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna tear these feet off my body. No, you're not. You're gonna be very fingerly light on your feet. And you're going to have soft face, grateful teeth because you're not gnashing them together. Good. Each breath out, just surrendering a little bit. I love that word, surrender. Surrender to the voice in your head saying, this is hard, and just saying, yeah, it's okay. And really let the breath run through the body, so the body can go, oh yeah, this is pretty good actually. This is doing me some good. Good, let's creep the hands up. We're going to come into, <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to do a cow-faced pose. So here's the deal. You want to bring one leg under you, crossed. I actually find this easier, I'm going to do it this way, to be able to come in from the top. So you're going to cross your knees. You're going to splay your feet, like that word, splay, and then you're going to somehow sit your butt back on the floor. Okay, so mine's taking a little while. I'm definitely leaning to one side, so I'm going to just wait. Oh, there we go. It's down. Now, if, you, if there's no way in hell this is ever going down, this bottom leg, you won't know which is which because they're all tangled, the bottom leg can straighten, okay? And then keep pulling the knee over. Now, if you've straightened your leg, I want to see you go for a fold here like this. It's a different stretch, right? It's into the back of the knees for me. If you're in your cow face pose, I wonder if they call it that because we look like cows when we do it. I would call it 
such a resting bitch face or something. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> anyway, for me, this is not so comfortable, but for you, if it's great, you feel free to fold yourself forward here. My work is just keeping these hips really even and not listing to one side. My spine is nice and long, my shoulders are relaxed. If you're in your fold, well done. Good, how's that working out for you? Had enough? Me too. Let's lift up. Oh, ever so slowly. Straighten those knees out. I don't think yoga teachers are meant to look like this while we do this, are we? But never mind. We call it real yogis. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. So the knee that was on the top is now going on the bottom. I'm actually coming from the, the top again, so I find it easier to lean forward and then sit back. Oh, good news for me, this is a better side. I don't know how you're getting on, but hopefully one side is a little more comfortable. Deep breath in. If you want to fold. You know, and even this side is, is, is enough for me to be able to fold. I know that I've got a good base. I'm not sitting on the heel. That's another thing to watch. Don't sit on your foot. You'll be thinking, I'm in, I've done it. No, you haven't. If you're sitting on your foot, straighten your bottom. <laughs> Good, stay here for just a couple more breaths. Checking my time, we're doing very well today. Excellent, big breath in to come up. Let's straighten the legs out. Give them a little wiggle for a moment. Give them a little, little wriggle. And then actually what will feel really nice is one more little fold forward here. So just revisiting that same fold again. Take your time. If your back is really stressed out by this sort of carry-on, just leave it alone. You can come into seated start, which is where you just sit upright. Really good stretch for the legs without the pressure in the back. Otherwise, if you're ready to come in a little deeper with me, toes towards your face, try not to rip your toes off your legs. Keep your neck nice and long and find a neutral head. So by that I mean don't bow too deeply. You're going to put a whole lot of pressure on your spine. Each breath in, some length into the body. And each breath out, a little bit of softness. Well done. Two more breaths here. Good to see you still with me. Nearly there. Lovely lie down at the end tonight. Good. Let's bring yourself back up. Let's pop the knees. And we're going to lie down. So slide the hips forward. Bring yourself down to the floor. Knees in for a hug. And make a few circles here. Both directions. Good, we're going to come into a supine twist, but we're going to set ourselves up well to move away from the wall a little. So knees above your hips, arms wide, dropping halfway over to the front, and then coming back up and going over to the back. Coming back up, over to the front. You could even straighten the top leg if you like. Coming back up. Learned that off Jackie Mills on the body balance the other day. Straighten it up. Good. Coming up again. This time, touch down. Oh, that feels mighty fine. So drop the shoulders away. You can either anchor your hand on your front knee or you just link your arms nice and relaxed. Sometimes I see legs sort of like this. Please, please rest your top and bottom legs somehow. Okay, so even if it's not touching the ground, just let it pretend it is so you're not holding on. 
If you want a bit more, you can take your top foot long and hold on to your toes. It's good to turn the head away. Beautiful, big breath in for one more set. Big sigh out. Good stuff. Top knee lifts. Bottom knee comes up too. There was a little shuffle of the hips back towards the front and then a drop over to the back. You decide how you're feeling settled here. You're feeling quite good in your body. Can you straighten that top leg as well? Keep going away from the knees. Shoulders really planted in nice and comfortably. Your face should feel quite soft. Jaw relaxed, teeth soft. Truly is amazing what our practice does for us, eh? That self-awareness that we pick up from just being focused on our own breath is worth its weight in gold. Excellent, bending the knee back in. If you've got the leg straight, stay for one more really deep breath in. And out. Slowly bring the knee up and it's mate. Take a moment here, let's just do a little bit of bridge to finish off the practice. So we've got our feet up against each buttock, heels nice and close. You can roll your hips up. Get your shoulders underneath you if that's where they want to go. Maybe even clasp the hands. Don't turn your head to look at me, by the way. Just keep looking straight up, chin tucked, and give your buttocks a lovely big squeeze. This is perky yoga bum material right now. Big squeeze in the butt. Keep lifting up through the thighs. Quads are on, glutes are on, hammies are on, eyeballs are on probably, whatever's working out for you. Ujjayi breath, it's that dark beta, that real guttural breath. Good one, one more breath in and release down. Ah, so good. Knees in for a hug again. Let's go into happy baby. So feet wide. I like to take my feet on the inside, you decide. But the main thing here is tuck your chin and push your tailbone down to the floor and then see if you can get your knees to come towards your armpits. You might have to take a different grip, whatever works for you. If you like to roll around in your happy baby, you can take a little rolly here and there, straighten one leg, bend the other. Kids will love this if they can see you doing this, they'll think that's hilarious. Really nice stretch into the groin and into the back of the legs. Beautiful soles of the feet together. Bring the heels down. Lift your hips and just tilt your pelvis up so that your lower back lands nicely on the floor. Hands can just go wherever you feel you want them to go. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Close the eyes down. Feel the breath becoming steady. It was quite a good workout that practice, so you may find that your heart rate is up a little. If you're comfortable with your legs wide like this, stay for a, a few more breaths. If you suffer from hip trouble or it's not comfortable, just do as long as you can. And when you decide you're ready, you can go into your Shavasana. And shavasana is still part of the practice, still one of the poses. So taking time to do Shavasana in my eyes, 
extremely important, even if you just lie here for two minutes. Really good to finish the practice off well. Let your legs just fully relax. If your back is a bit sore, you can have your knees up, but knock them into the center of your body. Arms wide. Let the floor just hold you here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Maybe you're going back to that lovely long breath in. Even longer breath out. Breathing it fully in. And letting every last drop of breath come out. As the body fully relaxes, make sure you're not holding your arms, you're not holding your shoulders, any energy there. Let your jaw become soft, your eyes really gently closed. Send your breath through your face, make sure that your forehead feels relaxed, your cheek, your ears, your chin, tongue heavy in your mouth. You may be lucky enough to feel a little tingle running through the body as all the nerves just settle. It's like when I think of this, my whole body giving itself a high five. Job well done. We often begrudge ourselves the time that we need to unravel ourselves a little unwind ourselves, put ourselves last, oh I can do that later, that's fine, I'll just carry on where I am now. If you can just give yourself this moment in time to relax, it won't be for long but it will be plenty long enough for you to take massive benefits. a couple more breaths. When you're ready, you might not want to move with me right now, but if you're ready to take a full breath and feel your breath go right into your fingers and toes. Big sigh out. Let that movement gently come back into your extremities, your fingers, your toes. It's nice to take a roll of the head from side to side. Take a big stretch, point the toes away from the fingertips. And I always like to have knees in for a moment. Just give my back a little bit of a, a moment to itself, if you like, before it has to do anything more making some circles or rocking from side to side. Always nice to roll onto your side and just lie there a moment. Get used to starting to move again. A couple of nice deep breaths. And then pushing up on your hands. Coming back to sitting nice and comfortably. Let's just take a moment, check in with yourself, hands to your heart center. Take a long breath in, a big breath out. Notice how you're feeling. Has your attitude changed? How's your physical body feeling? How's your heart? 
so pleased you joined me tonight. If you're watching this later on, well done for whenever you get to it. Thank you for taking the time for yourself. Because when you shine brighter, it spreads around this whole world of ours. See you again soon. Go well. Stay safe. Namaste.